Hello there, YouTube land. Well, this is a technology news report about Firefox. It's in Yahoo Finance. Yahoo! <laughs> well, this is Skybits, and what we have here is Firefox 95 enhances the browser's protection against malicious code. Well, let's go in here and see what it says. I don't want to put it on the screen because I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So I just have to read it. Uh, Mozilla is, which owns Firefox. Introducing a new security feature it claims will make Firefox the most secure browser available to consumers dubbed RL box so what you do is look for and research R L B as in boy O X as an extra no 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 X as in what starts with X um x-ray <laughs> so and it says it's going to be available through Firefox 95 update. It's a new sandboxing tool. Oh, that's nice. The company developed in collaboration with the University of California, San Diego, and the University of Texas. Cool. Now, sandboxing means that yeah, you're testing something away from the live environment. It's a pseudo environment. It's, it's a created environment that simulates live environment, but it's not actually live. So they, if something goes wrong, it just stays inside that sandbox and then they learn from whatever happens. <clears throat> But all modern browsers do use sandboxing to protect users against malicious code. You have to have a space to test the code so that the code does not go out and harm any other uh, computer or, you know, user or anybody. So that's how it's done. The problem is that many of the most advanced exploits this is what's in the article uh, they chain together two vulnerabilities to bypass those protections well with rl box firefox is going to compile a process into web assembly look that up as well and then convert it into native code hmm According to Mozilla, this approach presents two significant advantage, advances. Mm, advantages. <laughs> we will get it. <clears throat> it prevents code from jumping between different parts of a program and limits access to specific areas of your system's memory. Uh, with today's release, Mozilla will use RL Box to isolate five components of Firefox, including the graphite font rendering engine and the AUG multimedia module. If the system works as expected, the company says even a zero-day vulnerability in any of the five components should pose no threat to Firefox. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Mozilla is quick to note it won't be able to use RL Box to protect every component of Firefox. Like it says, you know, if it's not suitable for modules that depend on sharing memory, for instance, with the rest of the program in order to function. However, the company is hopeful that other developers will use the technology to make their software safer. So, if a component is not suitable for modules that depend on sharing memory with the rest of the program in order to function, it will not be able to use RL Box. Just saying. 
try to take that in a mouthful. <laughs> See, this is why people just don't understand. It takes a lot to study this stuff and understand the little intricacies on how things work with each other. None of it is just simple and fast and like, oh, I'm going to learn it in two minutes. No, that's not how it is. You have to really study and pay attention. And if you don't want to, that's great. That's why other people are available to do it, you know, and deserve to get paid. So, uh, yes. All right. So let's see the rest of the article here. Well, I'm not going to do all of them. I don't think it can be pretty long. So make sure you do look it up if you want to know more. And I'll make sure and put a reference to it below the video. And this one paragraph says, however, the company is hopeful that other developers, you know, use the technology to make their software safer. In the meantime, RL Box is now rolling out to all desktop and mobile versions of Firefox. So, <clears throat> oh, that is the article. I don't believe there's, oh. Okay, nope, that's it. That is it. The rest of it's all advertising. So, this is great news. And so, I'm real excited that Firefox is taking the lead. Yay! So, check that out and... We will check you out tomorrow and see what else we can do. Probably get back to doing some GIMP and Redbubble. <laughs> I do need to do some more. So I will talk to you later. Have a good one.